Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at an equilateral triangle and trying to establish what its properties are. So here I have an equilateral triangle with me and I have actually named the three angles in, the equilateral, in this equilateral triangle A, B and C. We usually use small letters when we are talking about the angles inside, the interior angles and I have actually labelled it on both sides, yeah? Okay, so first, let me give all my vertices a name, okay? Since the small angle here is A, this point there I'm going to call capital A. This is going to be capital B and this will be capital C, okay? So if I'm talking about this side of the triangle, I'm going to call it AB, yep? So when I have two vertices AB, it tells me it is a line. I cannot say line A because A is a point. Neither can I say line B because B is a point. But if I want to talk about this whole side of the triangle, I'm going to call it AB. Okay? And I'm going to see how AB and line BC are similar. Okay? So I'm going to AB and BC. So I'm going to write it down. AB. And then I'm going to compare it to BC. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fold... And I'm going to match AB to BC. And as you can see, they are exactly the same length. Yeah? So in other words, I can say that AB has the same length equals to BC. Yes? Now I'm going to take BC and compare it with AC. Yep. So let me write that down. BC, AC... This line can be called AC or it can also be called CA. I've chosen AC. It really does not matter. So now I'm going to compare this BC with AC. And I'm going to fold it here. As you can see, the lengths are exactly the same. Yeah? So I can, I can see that the length BC is the same as length AC. So here's what I'm going to write. So this is the first property of an equilateral triangle. All sides are the same length. Yeah? Now, let's look at the angles. There are three angles in this equilateral triangle. Angle A, angle B, angle C. Let me compare angle A and angle B. So, I'm going to write now this is angle A. And I'm going to compare it with angle B. Okay, I'm going to fold exactly, put A on top of B. And you would see that the angles match exactly, meaning angle A is the same as angle B. So I can write that down, angle A is the same as angle B. Now let's compare B with angle C. Okay, I'm going to fold, I'm going to put B and C together. So here's I'm going to put B and C together. Angle B is also, as you can see, exactly the same as angle C. So I know that B and C are the same. Now this is the second property of an equilateral triangles. All the angles are the same. Now, when we measure angles, we measure in degrees. Oh, just a, a short mention. If A equals to B and B equals to C, that means angle C is also the same as angle A. Now, what is this special angle that we have in a equilateral triangle we can always use our protractor to check yeah so i'm going to check here i'm going to check angle b here okay this is how we use a protractor we put the point on the vertex and make sure our baseline is aligned yep because we're starting from here we're going to use the outer scale and we're going to read all the way there and it is 60 degrees Yeah, that's a degree sign. Now let's measure angle C. We'll do the same thing. This line. And you will see that it is... Now we are using the inner scale. Because we are starting from here, 0. And it's also 60 degrees. And so angle A would be... Also... 
So basically, it's just two properties. First property being, all the sides of an equilateral triangle are equal. And all the angles are equal. And not only are they equal, they are equal to 60 degrees. 60, 60, 60.